What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the preview of the game between Manchester City and Sevilla in the Champions League. It's the final Champions League group stage match. It's Man City taking on Sevilla in a dead rubber for both teams. Last 16 in first place already secured for Manchester City. Europa League secured for Sevilla. They cannot qualify for the last 16 in second place as that has been secured by Borussia. Dortmund. The game taking place on Wednesday, the 2nd of November 2022 with an 8pm GMT. First time saying that this season we won't be getting back to British summertime BST until the end of March now. Start of autumn and winter here. Uh, but uh, kickoff time uh, is 8pm GMT for this game at the Etihad Stadium. Anyone go and do enjoy it. Game is live in the UK on BT Sport. Before I do crack on with this video though, make sure like always, if you are enjoying the content, then please do subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget as well, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email, also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, do leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. 200 likes once more is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. And lastly, this video is sponsored like all my previews for the season it's brought to you by betmate who are once more running a champions league 8 p.m kickoff special 500 pound pot five pound entry you can select two players from each team we'll speak more about that when we uh, get around to the betmate segment of the video but all details links and everything they are in the description so let's crack on with this video let's speak about Sevilla currently sitting in 18th place in La Liga, that's a relegation place. Struggling, so definitely. They do currently sit in third in the Champions League group. Their win over FC Copenhagen last midweek does mean that they have secured uh, a qualification in to the Europa League. They're sadly going to drop out of the Champions League, but they have secured qualification into the Europa League as they do have a better head-to-head -head than FC Copenhagen, who can only equal uh, the points that Sevilla uh, end up getting on, which is a Copenhagen win in Denmark against Dortmund and a Manchester City victory in Manchester would see them be level on points but because the uh, Sevilla have got a better head to head they do go through so group already sorted City are going to finish first Dortmund second Sevilla in third and Copenhagen in fourth Manchester City when we did play against uh, Sevilla uh, we did win 4-0 away in Spain in the opening group game. All too easy for Manchester City that night. Uh, and Manchester City, once it opened up the scoring, uh, managed to just blitz Sevilla apart. So they'll be looking to be a lot tighter uh, in this game. I'm a suspect that Sevilla are going to want to end on a high. They haven't had the best of campaigns. They've managed to scramble that and get a qualification place into the Europa League, but it hasn't been a fantastic Champions League group stage from them. So they're going to look to try and uh, secure uh, a win here against Manchester City with City. I'm expecting to heavily, heavily rotate their squad. So we could be in for a, a very interesting game here, uh, so to speak. Now, City have had back to back nil nil draws in the Champions League both of them were away games uh, in Denmark against Copenhagen and in Germany against Borussia Dortmund we did keep clean sheets in both then games so I'm sure Manchester City will want to keep a clean sheet in this game and get back in amongst the goals now Manchester City currently sitting in second place in the Premier League in England we won at the weekend 1-0 away against Leicester City Sevilla they lost at home against Rio Valienco Poor result for them as well. They'll want to bounce back. Now, Severe, they're led by Jorge Sampoli. Uh, I suspect we're going to see a pretty similar team to what Sevilla went that uh, beat Copenhagen uh, last midweek 3-0 on Tuesday evening. Uh, so I suspect it's going to be a 4-3-3 from them. So it will be uh, Dimitrovic starting in goal. Uh, Alex Tellers at left back. Montiel at right back. And Gudelj and uh, Marcao starting as their centre-backs. It would be a midfield, a very decent midfield this as well actually, made up of Ho uh, Johan Jordan uh, Isco and Ivan Rakitic, uh, Suso I suspect on one side, Papo Gomez on the other and Kasper Dolberg starting up top, also got options like Yusuf Ernesta uh, Jesus Navas, uh, Eric Lamella, 
Thomas Delaney, Adam Yanazai, Karen Ray Keek, former Manchester City man, uh, and of course Marcus Acuna as well. All options here uh, for Sevilla. They might want to rotate their team ever so much. So uh, obviously got former City players there, Karen Ray Keek could be in contention to maybe feature in this game uh, and of course Jesus Navas as well could be featuring in this game as well and to me it's a decent squad should be doing much better than 18th place in La Liga uh, but they do have Europa League football to look forward to their speciality from February for Manchester City rotation is going to be in place we've got three big games coming up after this game before the start of the World Cup Premier League games at home against Fulham and Brentford which on paper you'd expect Manchester City to win and if City wants to win the Premier League come May then Manchester City are going to be needing to win them home games in particular against teams that you suspect are going to uh, either be sitting what towards the relegation zone in the bottom half so these, these are teams that Man City should be beating most certainly at home and of course a Carabao Cup game coming up at home against Chelsea as well uh, as this starts the period of now of four consecutive home games for Manchester City so uh, yes rotation will be in place to allow some rest for much needed rest actually for some of our players now City are currently unbeaten in the Champions League and I think Man City are going to want to protect that they're going to want to score they're want, going to want to keep a clean sheet so whilst I expect rotation to be in place it will be players that haven't featured all that much for Manchester City and then there'll just be a sprinkling of maybe three or four youngsters at most I think that will be starting in this game and I suspect I'd, ra I'd rather see a bench made up of young players uh, to be honest start three or four young players a bench made up of young players and bring them on if needed so in terms of team news for City Erling Haaland he's out injured with a foot injury he's confirmed that he's going to be sitting this one out could well be back for the weekend against Fulham. I suspect Calvin Phillips isn't going to be risked here and he'll sit this one out as well uh, as he's looking, uh, he's training at the moment and looking to uh, try and uh, prove his fitness ahead of the World Cup. Kyle Walker uh, still not back into training with Manchester City as of yet so won't be featuring in this game but we do have Sergio Gomez back from suspension and is in position to potentially start in this game so I'm going to pop up my team prediction now now I was wondering was it going to be Scott Carson or is it going to be Stefan Ortega Moreno Ortega Moreno was fantastic against Dortmund and to me should be starting this game as well consecutive Champions League games I've gone with Rico Lewis on the right hand side and it could well be Sergio Gomez going on the left hand side but I put him in defensive midfield because it allows Rodri some rest I mean we could put Gundogan there and play one of our other midfielders we'll have to wait and see but I'm going for Wilson Esbrand starting um, uh, along uh, on the left hand side Rico Lewis on the right hand side and then Ruben Diaz and Nathan Ake starting as our two centre backs now I've gone in midfield defensive midfield uh, Sergio Gomez it could be Gundogan and Sergio Gomez goes more towards the left hand side could have a pivotal part to play potentially in midfield it could be Foden slotted into midfield and uh, Gomez going further upfield as left winger that could well happen so I've got Gundogan as our senior central midfielder sitting in our midfield and then Cole Palmer I'm going to start in this game if he is fit there is some doubts about whether he uh, could be fit enough in time he picked up a knock apparently I don't have any more details on that just rumors that have been going around so I'm hoping he will be fit and he will be good to go if not then it could be another player starting uh, for Manchester City it could potentially if we want to go with a young player it could be someone like Oscar Bob which would be good to see uh, I've gone with Mares on the right hand side Foden on the left hand side and Julian Alvarez will be starting in this game uh, youngsters that could be featuring here so Finley Burns centre back for Manchester City uh, Oscar Bob I've just mentioned he could be making his debut for Manchester City he's been impressing uh, uh, in the under 23s he plays as an attacking midfielder and would suit at the top of that uh, end of their Manchester City's midfield three Diane Mabude could be another player who's been impressing out wide this season with the under 23s he's an option and then the youngster everyone's speaking about Carlos Borges uh, could he be starting he's a winger too 11 goals 8 assists in um, that's 19 uh, goals that he's been involved in this season in 15 games in the under 23s and if that doesn't uh, get the attention of the senior squad and the senior management then I do not know what will so these are the young players that have been impressing that deserve to be around the Manchester City first team squad and I'd like to see them all of them players that I've just mentioned at least 
on the bench for Manchester City, maybe even one or two of them starting if we want to give a rest out there for some players. And if there's ever going to be a game here that we're going to be starting young players in and rotating heavily with our team, it's this game because it's a dead rubber. You don't get many chances when you're playing regular first team football to rotate your whole team because it's a completely meaningless game. You don't often get that. We do have that. That's the advantage. We've been that good in the Champions League group stage so far that we've got ourselves into to this position that we can do so so I would strongly recommend with Pep Guardiola moaning about the players being tired that we go and do that and with so much rotation in place I think it's very difficult here for me to predict a score I'm gonna go for nil nil just because I don't think it's going to be a classic I think City are going to struggle to get into any rhythm I don't think Sevilla are going to be too motivated about this game I'm hoping this is going to be a goals galore 4-2 4-3 really entertaining game I think it's going to be a very close game uh, with two teams matching each other and cancelling each other out nil nil if I had to put a winner out there I'm always going to back Manchester City uh, and I'd go one nil but my score prediction here is nil nil now my betting tip i'm going for a clean sheet here for stefan ortega moreno if mares starts i'm backing him to get over uh his little uh his confidence must be down so i'm getting i'm backing him to get over that and get the goal for manchester city if we are to score could even come from the penalty spot uh, and i reckon mares is the type of player that will get his head down and if there was to be a penalty for manchester city and he is on that pitch and erlen halland isn't he'd back himself to go and take the next penalty I'm sure a lot of people will be going, no, we do not want that. But uh, that's the type of player Riyad Mahrez is, and I'm backing him. I'll always back the Manchester City player, so I'm backing him. If that is the case, that he puts it into the back of the net. I'm hoping Mahrez does start, he puts in a high-quality performance because he really needs the confidence boost right now. So that would be good. So that's my betting tip. If City are to score, I'm going Mahrez any time. Could even be from the penalty uh, spot. But uh, do remember, if you are going to gamble, do gamble responsibly. And when the fun stops, stop. Now, moving on to my video sponsor for today, BetMate. £500 pot, £5 entry fee. You can use code JSGC5 on sign up for a £5 free bet. It means you can join this pot for free. My link is in the description. All my QR codes being on screen. If you want to go and download the BetMate app, anyone that does download the BetMate app using my link does help support the future content created here on my channel. Anyone that does sign up and use code JSGC5 to get a £5 free bet also helps to support the future content created here on my channel thank you to everybody that has interacted and downloaded betmate so far that is much appreciated normal rules do apply here you must be 18 or over to gamble and it is available to any citizen that is in the uk now champions league uh, special so you've got a choice of several games you can pick two players from any one team that's featuring in the wednesday 8 p.m kickoffs you've got choices of players from manchester city sevilla uh, also copenhagen against dortmund ac milan taking on salzburg chelsea taking on dinamo zagreb uh, juventus taking on paris saint germain and Maccabi haifa taking on benfica so i'm backing ortega he's my uh, goalkeeper for this uh, for this game i'm backing him to get a clean sheet for manchester city i've also gone with tellez at the back of sevilla along with Nathan and Ake. Kovacic have gone for Chelsea if he is fit to go. Remember you can alter and change your team up to five minutes before kickoff so you can uh, edit your team so don't let any bit of rotation catch you out to put yourself in the strongest position possible to win. Also got Ismail Benesa going alongside Kovacic in my midfield. I've got Lionel Messi my captain today for uh, this uh, for this round and also Neymar my vice captain. On the bench I've got Kobol of Dortmund, Christiansen from Copenhagen, Rakitic of Sevilla and Kai Havertz of Chelsea. Uh, so you've got to go and check out Betmate. All details, links and everything that they are in the description. And as mentioned before, when the fun stops, stop. And do remember to gamble responsibly. So City, let's go and get this job done. No pressure game. Football's football. I'm looking forward to seeing our youngsters out there. Seeing who can impress and seeing what happens. It's a dead rubber. It's like a friendly game. All pressure off so we can have a really good time enjoying this game. I'm sure there'll be lots of people heading to 
into the Etihad Stadium. No pressure. Just go and enjoy yourselves and watch two uh, high-quality teams going toe for toe. And to me, it is exciting in its own little way. So, vamos! We will be doing a live watch-along once more of this game. Watch-alongs will be returning for this game. So, I'll have my link out later on tonight for you guys to go and set your reminders for. So, I will see you guys at 7.30pm. GMT is going to take some getting used to uh, for the live watch-along of this game. So, I will see you guys for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Do leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video aiming for 200 likes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below including your score and team prediction for this game. Which youngsters do you think should be starting in this game? Let me know in the comments below and lastly do go and check out today's video sponsor betmate link in details they are in the description and i'll see you all again tomorrow for the live watch along of the manchester city severe game in the champions league match day six final group stage game so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now